afternoon and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about couples and in the sense of moments. Now, in a previous video I spoke about the definition of a moment but today I'm going to talk about a couple. A couple is a very special unique case where you have two forces. So here is my pivot. So remember moments are all up turning. I have a pivot and I have two forces acting in opposite directions the same distance apart from the pivot, but the moment they are producing, the spinning they are producing is in the same direction. So if we have a look at this here, if, um, by the way, a little trick in, in moments questions, you can just use a ruler and you can use it as a moment. And how I do here is I put my finger where the pivot is. And as you can see, this force here is pulling down. So that's spinning my ruler this way. And this force here is acting up and it's also spinning it in the same direction. So they are acting both in a clockwise motion. And a couple is a very special case where I've got two forces acting in opposite directions, so they're equal amount but opposite directions, either side of my pivot, the same distance apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the overall moment and I'm going to simplify that down for you. So how I find the overall moment of a diagram is I take each object um, on its own. So this 10 newtons here, the perpendicular distance is 1. So I've got 10 times 1. So I call that A, I'll call this B. This is A. And that's going to be 10 newton meters and it's going to be clockwise. Force B is going to be 10 times 1 again is 10 newton. Again, that is also clockwise. And much like if you had two forces acting in the same direction, you add them together, you do the exact same thing with uh, these. So I'm going to have A plus B. So that's going to be 20 Newton meters. If I, so overall, this is spinning with 20 Newton meters, this couple. If I changed everything to be letters, so let's change this to be D. And I change this to be F here. So I have, if I just rub this out. I have force times distance, force times distance. So I have force, distance, force, distance, and then I end up force, distance plus force, distance. I have so two force, distance. You can use this formula to be able to generalize what a couple is. That it's two times the force times the distance to the pivot or because these are the same so this here is 2d and that equals the distance between forces I'm going to call that s 2d there you go, got 2D times by F or F times S, where S is the distance between two forces. That is a special case of a couple. Remembering all about the perpendicular distance, but it's all about the fact that they're equal and opposite forces acting to produce a turning effect in the same direction.